Welcome back to episode number seven of our Bolo Search, how to turn $1,000 into $100,000 using the techniques I'm sharing in this episodic series. As always, just a quick reminder, we make no income claims or promises. Your results will vary. And everyone who has access to the Internet Mastery Bolo technology has made an investment in that program. With that being said, let's continue with our update of our live leaderboard. Let's see how the Internet Mastery community is doing this week compared to last week. Let's check it out now. And so as we're looking at the leaderboard here today, we're at 153,412,775.93 on our way towards $1 billion in sales on Amazon. People just like you that had never sold on Amazon before participating in our Internet Mastery community. And the orders continue to come in. Just taking a look at some of the top leaderboard numbers, these numbers are very interesting because they reflect two things. The first number that you see at the top of uh, each person is their sales for the last 90 days. And the second number you see is their all-time sales since they began with Internet Mastery. Now, neither these are sales, not profits. Profits range anywhere from 22% up to about 85%. You can see Jomar is currently in lead with $811,000 in the last 90 days, $6,076,000 overall. You see Zep not too far behind at $755,000 in the last 90 days and just over $5 million in sales. Quentin is coming in with a cool 486,000 in the last 90 days and 3.349 million in overall sales. And of course, we've got Way at 3.1 million, Robert at 6.8 million, Julie at almost 3 million, Richard at 3.6 million, Stephen Sherry at 7.19 million. And of course, that list goes on and on and on. I'm so proud of our Internet Mastery community, and I congratulate you for watching this series. You know, I'm here for one sole purpose, and that's to make suggestions. You're here so you can take the information, make the decision necessary so that you can grow your Amazon business and create the financial freedom that you're looking for. So this series is really about Bolo deals. These are opportunities that members of our Internet Mastery community receive every Monday right around noon Eastern Standard Time. Some of the deals are low hanging fruit and they're just simple and easy and ready to go. Other deals need to be reverse engineered and some you just have to figure out bundles and other opportunities that come from the deal. But the reality is that the Bolo deals are very similar to a concept called the iceberg effect. And I'm not sure if you're familiar with this concept, but when you're looking at an iceberg, you only see about 2% of the iceberg. 98% of that iceberg is submerged underwater. And perhaps you've seen some memes that talk about the iceberg effect with relation to success. So at the very top of that iceberg, you might see something like results, but then underneath the iceberg, you'll see all of the things that go into all the elements that make up what it actually takes to be successful. We like to see those results, but we don't always know what we really need to do to get the results that we're looking for. So because we send these 10 Bolo deals to your account every week as an Internet Mastery community member, sometimes people look at those deals and then they say to themselves, well, all the items are gated or the items aren't profitable or whatever the reason is that they want to make the Bolo deals out to be not as good as they think they should be. I want to remind you, and of course, if you've watched episodes one through six, then you already know this, but these Bolo deals are opportunities and there are no bad deals. And so I've created a graphic that I'm calling the Bolo effect. The Bolo effect is where you see at the very top of the graphic, the Bolo result, the Bolo deal. But below that tip of the iceberg, really submerged, 
are all the things that people are utilizing when it comes to making Bolo deals successful. And I've been really trying to highlight those in this series and I'll continue to do so. One of them is to understand concepts like cash back and cash back credit cards, sites like Rakuten, so that you can save additional money when it comes to buying from retailers. Another concept that's important to recognize is you're gonna to have to put in some time, whether it's the time to watch these videos, whether it's the time to reverse engineer deals, it isn't instantaneous. The other thing to recognize is that when you look at an opportunity, perhaps it's a Target or Best Buy, that on the surface deal above in that 2% area might not look on face value like it is a deal that is worth pursuing. And yet below the surface, there are so many different aspects and ways to look at the deal that we can then turn those deals into massively profitable opportunities. And then the really big picture to understand is that sometimes you'll end up at sites like Target or Best Buy or Staples or wherever your Bolo deal is. But the reality is that other retailers might actually have that deal. They might have more inventory available. They might have better pricing and they might have opportunities for you to create bundles. So the short term, the short focus, the initial opportunity that's sent to you, that's just a gateway, a pathway into opening up an entirely new world. These are opportunities and deals that you might not have ever thought of before. They've already been vetted. We've already gone through and processed with 26 different data points, ideas, concepts, strategies, and insights that we use when we are looking for product. So if you just keep that in the back of your mind and you understand what the real potential of the Bolo deals are, you recognize how powerful this opportunity is. Now, I know you know that because you wouldn't be on episode seven if you didn't think so. In fact, what's interesting is that typically when people ask me about the Bolo deals and the opportunities with them, and maybe they don't think they're as good as they thought they might be, it's simply because they haven't watched this series. So again, congratulations for watching. Congratulations for being here. We are on session number seven, series number seven, episode number seven, whatever you want to call it. But I do recommend going back and re-watching one through six. There are so many aspects and elements to what is covered. You might have missed it. It's if you go to see a good movie. You go back and watch that movie a second time. You will always see things that you missed the first time. So with that, with that overview and those thoughts about the Bolo deals, I'm going to go ahead and jump into an account. Now, this is not my account where I'm reviewing the Bolo deals. This is a student's account. I'm going to go through some of the Bolo deals and I'm going to talk about the different opportunities that are available. And then we'll see if we can come up with any other opportunities that we might not readily see. So let's go ahead and jump in right now. So I'm going to head over to the Bolo deals. Of course, these particular deals expire in three days, four hours. And as I look at the deals, I first want to go through what websites are part of this user's uh, deals this week. So we have got bestbuy.com. We've got riteaid.com. There's another Best Buy. There's a Macy's. There's Belk. There's Best Buy. There's Target, Staples, GameStop, Office Depot, Camping World, another Staples, another Camping World, Kohl's, uh, and that makes up the list. So the first thing that you'll see there are these are major retailers. Now, one of the things that's really important as you're going through this process is you need to make a decision. When you are sourcing your inventory, remember that you can't send it directly to Amazon. So you're not gonna buy it from Kohl's or Camping World or any one of these retailers and send it directly to Amazon for fulfillment. We definitely want to utilize FBA fulfillment by Amazon for multiple reasons. So you really only have two choices. Option number one is send it to your house and option number two is send it to 
the Internet Mastery Prep Center. Now, one thing just to understand from my perspective is that as you're watching this series, I'm not sure which retailers you're going to choose. I'm not sure which inventory you're going to pick. And I'm not sure how you're going to determine the prep of your items. In other words, are you going to send them to your house or are you going to send them to the prep center? For example, if you live in Canada and you're following this process throughout the Canadian marketplace, there is no prep center in Canada. So you'll be prepping the items yourself. If you're in the U.S. market, you might prep them yourself if you don't have access to the prep center. Or if you do have access to the prep center, you might be sending them in so that the prep team can get them off to Amazon for you. I want to make sure that everybody understands and recognizes that there are no retailers that we are aware of other than a website called Midway.com that will not ship to the prep center. So sometimes there's people that have an issue or a challenge when they're completing a prep form because they say that the address doesn't match up. Just make sure that you accept the address. It is a valid address. I promise you we get hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of boxes at the prep center every single day. So the address is valid. Don't worry about that. But sites like Best Buy, Staples, Kohl's, Camping World, all major retailers ship to the address of the prep center. So I think using the prep center is one of the best advantages and opportunities that you have because I really believe that this is a global business that can be done from anywhere in the world at any time. So by doing that this way, you're sourcing your product online and then you're sending your inventory to the prep center. So it doesn't matter if you're in an overwater bungalow in Tahiti or if you're on a three month vacation in Acapulco. The reality is that when optimizing the process, it gives you a true turnkey hands-free business. All right, let's jump back in and see what we've got here this episode. So I'm gonna scroll back up to the top and I'm gonna review each one of these deals separately. Now, what we're looking for each week is typically to find two or three good deals. And then the following week, two or three good deals. And then the following week, two or three good deals. We do that for a month. And then on week number five, we're gonna find two or three good deals. And then we're gonna go ahead and reorder the for two or three good deals we had in week number one. Now let's remember the goal. The goal in this series is how do we turn $1,000 in inventory into $100,000? It is not a week over week over week process. It is a compounding rate of return. So you might sell a few dollars and then a few hundred dollars and then a few hundred dollars and then a few hundred dollars month after month after month. But as it compounds, you'll start to see that months seven, months eight, months 10, months 12, that's when it really compounds. I also just want to remind everybody that you're starting a business. If the goal is to turn $1,000 into $100,000, this is not a hobby. This is a business. And no business can become profitable in a big way in one month, in two months, in three months, in four months. Somebody recently said to me, you know, I've been doing this for three months and I've only sold a little bit and I can't believe I spent that money to get involved. And I thought, well, okay, well, but this is your business, not my business. And you didn't spend anything, you invested it. So you have to think the right way. We didn't spend it, we invested it. And where can you invest in going to college and in three months get the degree? You can't. And by the way, if you don't show up for class and you don't take the tests and you don't do the homework and you don't participate and you're not asking for help when you need it, you're sure as hell not going to graduate on time. But even if you did graduate on time, it's still a four year degree. It is not a three month degree. This is your business. So I need you to treat it like a real business and think long term. Look, at the end of the day, the series is called how to turn a thousand into a hundred thousand. But the fact is that if you could turn a thousand into a hundred thousand, what are you going to turn a hundred thousand into? Just think big, but think long term. All right, 
Now let's get back into it. All right, so this first example is the Pioneer 7.2 channel. Uh, I'm actually gonna skip this one. This is a little bit too heavy for me. I prefer items in the two to three pound range personally. Now we have lots of successful people that sell heavier items, uh, but for me, I'm just gonna go ahead and skip it. So speaking of lighter items, here you go. This is the Cheez-It Extra Toasty. Heck, in worst case scenario, I can't sell it, I'll eat it. So it's a good, a good opportunity here. Now what I'm noticing right off the top is that uh, this example from Rite Aid says that it is a seven ounce box. But this example on Amazon is a 21 ounce box. So the first thing that I would do is I'd head over to Amazon and see if there's any seven ounce boxes available. And the first thing that pops up is a seven ounce box. Uh, and that seven ounce box is $8. Now, if we look back at Rite Aid, we can see that the seven ounce box is $3. We can also obviously do the math and say that if we bought two of these, it would be $6. So we're starting to think now about possible bundle opportunities with these boxes. So let's take a quick peek look at Amazon here and see that uh, this seven ounce box is an $8 purchase. I'm not really sure how much money we can make, but we can click on Spy Rivals and figure it out. You'll notice that we do need to uh, get approval because this is not my Amazon account. I cannot request the approval, but more often than not, we get instant approval when we follow the process. But if we bought this item for $3 and we sold it for $8 and we calculated the profit, we can see that that is a 14% loss. So that's not necessarily a good one. However, there's still so many things to consider. So for example, let's take a look and see some of the bundle opportunities. We can take a look and see that there's um, uh, a bundle of three, there's a bundle of six. There's also lots of other Cheez-It products that can be analyzed. So I just wanna make sure this process is uh, it, it is making sense to you, we can come back up to Rite Aid, and this is what I mean by reverse engineer, and we can see that the uh, the seven ounce white cheddar is on sale for $3, the regular is $3, and then they have the 10 and a half ounce classic mix also for $3 at Rite Aid. So let's go back to Amazon for just a moment and let's take a look at a couple of things here. The first thing that I wanna look at is this one, because this is a 10 and a half ounce, and yet it's still only $3. So it may be good, it may not be good, but at least it gives us a chance to take a look at it and see if it is there. And we can take a look at this and see that the 10 and a half ounce is there. So let me go ahead and click, oh, that's a pack of three. We are gonna look at that. Uh, and then let's take a look at the one box as well. So when we look at the one box, we can click the see all buying options. And we can see here that this item is uh, fulfilled by Amazon selling for $9, $9.25, $12.26. So if we take a look at Spy Rivals X, we might say that if we bought this item for $3 and sold it for $10.25, click calculate profit, now we're in the 29% profit range. Now again, you still need to click to get approval. And I'm not 100% sure that this is the one that you want to sell. But the bottom line is that this is one that the Bolo deal did not show us. But because the Bolo deal was a mismatch, we actually look for items that are similar. If we take a look at the three pack, and this is the one that I think might have a lot more potential. Let's take a look at the three pack. And what you can see here is the minimum price is that's an FBM price. The minimum FBA price is $24 at, excuse me, $25 and 47 cents. So if we take a look at Spy Rivals X, we can see this one actually isn't selling. So the three pack is not selling nearly as well as the one pack. Now, since we know that they're $3 a box, we can buy three of them. 
we can sell them for uh, $25 and our profit would be 46%. Now in this particular example, the bundle is not selling. But the takeaway that I want you to have here is that typically bundles will sell a few less units, but will be significantly more profitable. And if you're not aware, when you send the items to the prep center, the prep center will bundle them for you. So as you're looking at opportunities, th this is where the big picture is so much bigger than most people think it is. When you're looking at opportunities, particularly with food products and grocery products, lots of other categories as well, by the way, but there's lots of bundle opportunities. And one of the things you'll find is in many cases, the listing for the individual item might be gated, but the listing for the bundle might not be. That's something you'll experience. It isn't gated specific to the product, it's specific to the listing itself. So there's opportunities for a one pack, a two pack, a three pack, and other associated bundles. Bundling creates tremendous opportunity and profitability. Now, I don't know how many of you before watching this video said, I know what I'm gonna search for on Amazon. I'm gonna try to sell Cheez-Its and then I'm gonna create the Cheez-It bundles and I'm gonna do that from Rite Aid. Well, if you didn't say any of those things, then you understand that the purpose and the process of the creation of the Bolo deals was to provide you with that opportunity so you know exactly what direction you should be in. Now, remember, there's two groups of people. There's the first group that says, up, oh, the Cheez-Its are a bad deal. They don't match. That This is the Bolo deals don't work. Then there's the second group that understands what the concept of the Bolo deals are which is to create these opportunities for you. I, I do want to look at one more uh, before we head away from the Cheez-Its though. So when I go back to the original Cheez-It listing, I notice here that there's a three flavor variety pack. And that three fa flavor variety pack is the white cheddar, which we know, the original and the cheese and toasty. However, they're different sizes. Uh, this is a 21 ounce. So what we could do if we had more time is we could just simply go back to Rite Aid and we could look to see what other Cheez-Its they offer, what's on sale, and then create bundles from there. But we're not gonna do that. I just wanted to give you the big picture concept on how that process actually works. Let's go back to our Bolo deals and let's take a look at this one. Now, this is one that I looked at prior to creating this video because I wanted to see what these opportunities really showed. And I love video games. I think video games present themselves with an amazing opportunity. And partially it's because of all of the other related items that can be sold and found from, uh, from video games. So if we take a look at this one, we can see that it's $6.49. We know that it's $17.39 on Amazon. And we know that the monthly estimated buys are 25. That means our, we can sell 25 of these about every 30 to 45 days. And we can also see that our net profit is $2.71. So simply from that one deal, we're talking about 25 units at $2.50 profit. Buy them, send them to the prep center so you don't have to do anything with them. And there's an extra $60 in profit for the month. They say $60, that's not going to pay my bills. I get it. You're right. It's not. $60 is still $60 though. And that's from one Bolo deal. So if we have a $60 opportunity and we do that two or three times and we do that every single week, well, that's $150 a week. That's $600 a month. But next month, we have four new opportunities over four weeks, plus we have the four from the previous month. And that's where it starts to really compound over time. You've got to make sure you're doing this process on a weekly basis in order to get the numbers to really multiply. Now, while we're here, I just want to take one quick peek at Best Buy and see if there's anything else we can find as a result of this Bolo deal. Let's check it out. So as I'm here on Best Buy, I'm gonna scroll down just a little bit, and we're gonna take a look and see if there's any other opportunities. And you can see here that uh, Best Buy tells us 
things that are frequently bought together. So what you can see here is that uh, this one, this FIFA 21 Standard Edition is $6.49. We can also see that the Madden NFL 22 Standard Edition is $15.99. Let's just look at those two to give you an example of what we're referring to because the Madden 21 is the game that we found as a result of the Bolo deal. So I'm going to just simply now go old school. I'm going to copy the title from uh, the Best Buy page, and I'm going to bring it over to the Amazon page and see what we can find. So the first thing that I'll see here is that this game is actually doesn't look like it's on Amazon. So up. Oh, Wait, never mind. There it is. <laughs> Step number one, source the product. Step number two, see if it's on Amazon. And when we take a look at Best Buy, we can see that this game is $6.49. And when we took a, take a look at Amazon, we can see that this game is in prime and new condition. We can see that the price is $8.95. So this opportunity looks like a good one. The challenge is that this item is not profitable. We can see that we can buy it for $6.49, but we're not able to sell it and make a whole lot of money. So that would be a reverse engineered bad opportunity. Let's take a look or maybe a learning experience. How about that? Instead of saying it's a bad opportunity. Let's take a look at this title. Let's bring it over to Amazon and let's take a look and see what we've got here. So here we can see that this is uh, selling for $19.81. We can see that the item on Best Buy, while still less, is not less enough to be profitable. Now, one of the things I want you to notice about Best Buy is that every time you pull up a new Best Buy page, Best Buy will give you suggested uh, opportunities that might be good deals. So they'll show you what you've reviewed. They'll show you what is frequently bought together. And so you can spend a little bit of time going through each one of these opportunities and seeing if any of them are any good. Here's the NHL 22 Xbox One. Again, we're just doing the same process. Step number one, see if it's on Amazon. Step number two, determine the profitability. Step number one, source the product. Step number two, see if it's on Amazon. So we can see here that this game on Amazon is $16.49. Let's just double check. Let's see what's prime and see what our opportunities are. So if it's $16.49 is what it's selling for on Amazon at this time. And we can buy this item for $7.99. Let's take a quick peek and see whether or not, okay, there you can see it's selling uh, $7.99, $16.59, $15.59, calculate the profit, and we can see we're at 7%. Now, the fact that you can sell 30 units a month might make it worthwhile to amortize your money at 7%. It might not. Let's just take a look at one more. This is the NBA 2K22 Standard Edition. I'm going to take a look here and we'll see what our opportunities are. So let's just go back here to uh, Best Buy and see that this one is $10.99. And we can see here that we have an opportunity to sell it for $17. So one of the things that, and then of course, if we check Spy Rivals, we can see this one is selling 50 units a month and no listing restrictions apply. Now there's a couple of really important things I want you to see here. In some cases, video games can be instantly approved. In other cases, you're gonna to need to buy those games wholesale. And in other cases, like the last one that we just looked at, it's automatically ungated and available to list. So you have to check every listing versus the brand or the item to determine whether or not you're able to sell it and the Spy Rivals technology will give you that opportunity. 
I want to keep this session relatively short. I've had a lot of people tell me they love the information and the content, but uh, the series, sometimes the episodes are in the 35, 45, 55 minutes. So I thought, okay, let's keep this one a little bit short, but let me wrap it up and summarize some of the big takeaways for you. The first big takeaway is the concept called the Bolo effect. So the Bolo deals get pushed into your account every single week. That's awesome. What you see is what you get on the surface, but below the surface, the people that are maximizing this opportunity are doing things like cashback, Rakuten, uh, all different methods of reverse engineering and bundling. The second thing that I want you to take away from this is that when you see an item that may or may not appear on the surface like an exact match, there may be other opportunities for that item. There may be other opportunities on other websites for that item. And there certainly will be opportunities associated with the bundling of items. Now, one point I want to mention to you about bundling is that bundling comes in two forms. Bundling can be items that are the same and bundle can be items that are similar. So for example, if we did a Cheez-It seven ounce box and we did a box of four, those are all items that are the same. But if we did the regular Cheez-It bundled with the white cheddar Cheez-It bundled with the extra crispy bundle, uh, but if we bundle the regular Cheez-It with the white cheddar Cheez-It with the extra crispy Cheez-It, I just kind of feel like I'm in the mood for a Cheez-It now. If we bundled those three, those would be items that are similar. So bundles can take many shapes, many forms, you could do a one pack, a two pack, a three pack, items that are the same, items that are similar. And of course, when you fill out the prep form properly, the prep center will actually do all of your bundling for you. So the bundles in and of themselves are something where you can really become an expert at. And then the final takeaway is to be able to use the website where the deal was found. So let's just say for a moment that you found a deal in your bolos that was a great deal. That doesn't mean you shouldn't scroll down to that bottom of that retailer's page and look for suggested items that are similar. You can take one good deal or one doesn't look like such a good deal and turn it into five other deals just simply by knowing the process of what to look for. So thanks so much for being with me here on this episode, this seventh episode. Uh, most likely episode eight will be a little bit longer, uh, maybe even a little bit longer than some of the others just to give you some further insight and further information. But use the Bolo deals, focus on the long term, get prepared to turn that $1,000 in inventory into 100,000, but don't stop if it gets hard. Focus on all the elements beneath the iceberg and make sure you understand the concept of the Bolo effect. Thanks so much. I'll see you in episode eight.